I'm so done with winter, guys. It's just, I can't stand it any longer. <laughs> so if you are somewhere hot and sunny, I'm really jealous. I wish I was there with you. But that's okay because I'm excited and happy uh, to share with you some new products that I received from Ranger uh, yesterday. And you know what? I did cheat a little bit. I tried them out last night. They were calling my name and I just couldn't wait. So... <laughs> Anyway, so I'm going to share with you all the things uh, that I have here in front of me, and I hope you will enjoy this little demo that I'm going to put together for you. Um, let me know if you guys are big into alcohol inks or you're just starting out with alcohol inks. I'd love to hear where you guys are uh, in your journey. That would be awesome because I know this is a huge, huge uh, medium now, and I've been doing this for quite a while. Um, you guys may follow me on YouTube. I've got lots of alcohol ink tutorials on YouTube and of course my Instagram is just full of alcohol ink stuff so this is the first time that I've actually tried this particular product um, I have a lot of favorite brands and inks for specific things but I've been dying to try this new line uh, that I talked about briefly on my Instagram yesterday so these are the and I know some of you have these already so let me know if you've tried them I'd love to hear uh, what you guys think about these but these are the alcohol pearl so these are different from the regular alcohol inks can't believe it I've got like low battery already so this is totally live so if I do blackout or uh, lose connection then I'll jump right back on and I'll plug in my my phone if it gets uh, really really low <clears throat> but um, so these are the alcohol pearl um, these are not the same as the mixatives or the metallics they're they're different in that they are sort of like a shimmery iridescent kind of uh, finish to them uh, yep I'm gonna share with you the black cardstock in a minute actually I did start a little um, a little bit of uh, some ink on the black cardstock I really actually really really do like this I've just experimented on two sides just with different colors um, but it's a nice matte finish, which is really pretty. So I'll share that with you in a little bit. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to be doing some of uh, the inks on just regular Upo. And on some new stuff here they've got, I may not get to all of this, but they've got some uh, new hardcore art panels. So these are really, really handy. They're all ready to go prepped. Uh, you just put your ink straight on them. So no need to uh, prime and gesso them or, or anything like that. Or uh, They're just ready to go. So those are great. Um, and then, of course, there's some other cardstock here. We've got some shiny silver and then some sparkle over there. So... There's tons of colors in this line, and if you do have questions, let me know. If I don't see it or get to you, that's okay. I'll, um, when I do the replay, I'll take a look through and I'll answer your questions if you have any. Uh, but I'm going to be sharing with you some of the, the greens and the yellows because I'm big into um, just the natural colors right now. Uh, so they have a line of uh, those particular colors, and then we've got some uh, Smolder and Mineral. I love the names of these inks. They're awesome. It reminds me of uh, nail polish, like when you're going to go buy nail polish and you read the name and you love it, so you buy it. <laughs> it's kind of the same thing here. So these have a little ball in them, just like the metallics or the mixatives. So you really need to shake them well in order to um, combine the product because it, it'll settle to the bottom. That's the pearl or the shimmer that's sitting in there. Oh, and by the way, these are dye based. They're not pigment based. Uh, so like most alcohol inks, you need to make sure you uh, seal and protect your work when you're done. Um, and I know I get a lot of questions about that. Uh, for me, I use the Krylon Kmar. Okay, so if you want to seal your work, use that first because different brands of inks and different colors will bleed. So if you're looking to finish your work with resin or that sort of thing, you need to seal your work first, always, okay? So uh, a sealer of some sort, Krylon Kmar, um, that's what you need. And then to protect, added protection, you can use some UV. I use the Krylon uh, UV archival, so that's really awesome too. All right, so let me share with you some really cool colors here. And I'll share with you the combinations that I've been using and uh, what I got in the set. So here are some purples and blues, which are um, my favorite colors, really. And then I've got some softer colors that you can create when you add blending solution, and then some uh, more saturated colors. So these are just made with the inks. There's no blending solution added. So I'll just show you 
what I got. You could look at this. They come now in these cute little bottles. These alcohol blending solution bottles are really awesome. Um, blending solution versus alcohol. So here's the deal. If you want your work to retain that sheen or uh, shine and full color, then you really want to use blending solution or extender. One or the other, they both work the same. If you use alcohol, you're going to draw the sheen out of your work and it's going to leave a matte finish, okay? So those are the differences. I know alcohol is a lot cheaper, but um, you just wanna consider using blending solution if you can, okay? I like to, to do that instead of alcohol if I can. All right, so let me show you these beautiful colors here. And I'm gonna start off with uh, my favorites here. And get some paper towel here. Here's a little bit, oh, actually, you know what? Let me, so I, I don't know if you can see that in the light. I, I wanna just show you the finish uh, with these pearl colors. So they're, they have a bit more of an iridescent, shimmery finish. So this particular uh, color here, this is actually one of my favorites. I, I love teal in general. Uh, so this is called Tranquil, um, that color there. And then I've used uh, Villainous. I love the name of that one. And what else did I use here? Oh, some, nope, not that one. This one here, this is called Intrigue. This one's uh, really pretty. So these three are what I used to create this card. So I'm just going to share with you how I did that one. Now, one of the things you'll find when you're starting off with alcohol ink is um, you may tend to use a lot of ink. You really don't need much ink at all, okay? Uh, it's not necessary. However, I will admit I am a heavy user of alcohol ink. So <laughs> it's really just personal preference. Um, and I'm a messy artist. I'll admit that as well. So this is actually really organized for me. And I'm actually wearing gloves, which I never do. So yay to everybody who tells me all the time to wear gloves. Okay, so let's shake these up really, really well. Oh my gosh, my battery's running low and I charged it. What's going on? <laughs> I might have to plug it in. Okay. So here is Tranquil. Actually, I'll just take these off right now. I, I really do like the tips on um, the Tim Holtz Ranger line. They're just a little bit longer than some of the other brands. And um, yeah, they work really nicely. So I can show you the shimmer there. All right, see, I'm making a mess already. So I'm one of those people that like to just blend the inks a lot right away. I don't like to add solution initially. Well, I guess it depends on what I'm doing. So, uh, but for this particular demo, I'm just mixing inks right away. Now I know you can use a straw, you can use um, compressed air can, which is what I used uh, for the flower over there. And then I just kind of just let everything run around like this. And it's always helpful to have a paper towel underneath. Now I know some people say, oh, you're gonna waste it all, but you can actually reactivate inks on paper towel and use it in other ways, like a swipe or something. This particular uh, line of inks, it does, they don't reactivate um, as much when you use blending solution on top of them. So just keep that in mind. Some of the, the standard inks, the regular line does, but these particular ones won't, or they don't as much anyway. Yeah, these are, this is a really pretty color combination. Oh my gosh. I mean, who doesn't love pink and blue and purple all together? It's just really pretty. So if you want that more the saturated look, don't add any uh, blending solution. Just keep it as is. And you can keep adding to it. Now, I know a lot of you like to sometimes I see use a hairdryer or a heat gun. 
and everybody has their own way of doing things. I honestly don't like a hair dryer. I just, I don't have enough control and it just blows all over the place. So I tend to just work with it just by picking up the page and moving it around. So anyway, I'm gonna leave that off to the side. So here's a couple that have dried already on their own. So they're really, really pretty. I like those. And then over here, I have two ways of doing, as I just showed you at the beginning, these yellows. So these particular colors are uh, alchemy in the yellow, and then they've got these really nice greens and earthy tones. So these are envy and sublime. These are really, really pretty colors. And I do, I have added um, these to my shop page. You can get some of them. Uh, on Amazon now. So I've added a link on my shop page. If you go to my highlights, there's a link there to all of these products that I'm using. Uh, but let me share with you another way to use the blending solution, especially if you're new to it and you want that wispy blended look, then you need to add the blending solution, especially if you're trying to do like a, a shift in color and you want to have almost a white at the end, you need to use blending solution for that, okay? And I had one question there I saw, how do I, what do I use to start off with? And I really suggest just getting the small packs of Yupo paper, medium or heavy, it doesn't really matter. If you are going to use a heat gun, then I highly recommend um, that you, you use an embossing tool if you're going to dry it that way because there's the possibility of your Yupo paper warping and you don't want a hot, hot uh, tools, okay? So I like to use the embossing gun on there. And I just started doing some embossing on here too. So I probably won't have time to share with you how to do that, but I do have that on my YouTube channel right now. I have a wispy alcohol ink tutorial with embossing. So, do some green and some yellow here. It's so pretty. Okay, so if you wanna get that wispy look, then you wanna add some blending solution and it'll just lighten things up for you. I should put my paper towel back down there. So you can already see how, how light it is over there. And again, a little bit of this goes a long way but it's a, it's a more transparent kind of look. So if you were to use alcohol on this, you do draw out some of the sheen and uh, color. So just keep that in mind. I do use alcohol quite a bit. It depends on what I'm doing, but if you are gonna use alcohol, please make sure you're using something higher than 71% because of the water content. Okay, so you can see the shift there in color. It's almost going to a white. Yeah, there you go. And the thing is, when you see these uh, things online on Instagram, they're really easy to do. And there's some beautiful work out there, uh, some amazing artists, some uh, really uh, great abstract and floral artists. Like this kind of style, if you follow Alexis Bonavita Cola, I don't know if she's there, Alexis, if you're there. This is her style as well as, oh, I don't have it here. Kimberly Dean also has some amazing floral technique. Uh, courses so you know I like to promote other artists not just my own stuff uh, so you really need to check them out and of course if you follow my feature Friday oh today's feature Friday yes I'm going to be featuring a student from my class so I'll share that with you later on today okay so here I'm gonna do quickly do the cardstock my battery's running low hope you guys are doing okay and you're enjoying yeah these colors are awesome I really really like them okay for the cardstock, one tip I really want to recommend is that you use a white mixative. Um, it will just help the colors show a little bit better on your on your cardstock. If you're especially if you're trying to do flowers or something like that, and I admit I'm not I'm not the best at flowers, but let's give it a go. Somebody recommended using smolder on the cardstock on the black matte cardstock. So I'm gonna give it a go here. No, oh, I'm gonna add some blue because I got to do that. All right, and some mixative. And you can just start building your layers with this. It's quite um, effective when you do it. And I had a post a little while ago on a flower that I created, got a lot of good feedback. And that was Kimberly Dean's um, technique with the little um, 
center there. She uses some really cool tools to get that look, but. So you really wanna take your time and just, these are work really well, just a regular compressed air can that you clean your keyboard with. I just got this from Staples, so if you're in Canada. Hello, fellow Canadians. If you're, yeah, let me know where you guys are from. I'd love to, somebody said they were from Germany. Hello, Germany. Uh, let's see, oh, you know what? I haven't used this color yet. This is called Enchanted. All right, well, I'll just bring this up. Can you guys see that? It's kind of like, it's a really nice cardstock. So this is it here. I haven't found it online yet, but I know Ranger is sending it out to stores soon. So this is the uh, that one. And then the other couple that I want to share with you uh, are the Silver Sparkle and the Brushed Silver. These are awesome too. So you can check those out. And if you want to see the embossed part, then uh, of course, like I said, I have a video on that. You can check that out. Um, but anyway, I think that's, I think that's pretty good there. I have to stand on my stool so I can see you guys. <laughs> Hello from North Texas. How are you? Have you used the panel? No, I haven't. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me uh, open it up really quickly. Let's do a quick panel before I go, before my battery dies. I'll use a small one. So this is the alcohol ink hardcore art panel. All right, let's move that over. Okay, what color should I use? Uh, should we use earthy tones or the teals and the blues? Uh, what shall I use? Tell me, blues, pinks, what do you want to see? Uh, let's go with... Hi from Indiana. Hello, Indiana. Orange, you know what? Um, let's go with some pinks then. This is the Deception. Oh, okay, somebody said pink and earthy. So we're gonna do pink and earthy together. Okay, this one is mineral. And I think my dog is gonna bark any minute now. <laughs> so, all right, let's see what we had got here. Those are pretty colors. It's kind of like a, a burnt orange. So it's pretty good. I like that card stock on one side and I think, you know what? You can use both sides of this. So this is the first time I'm using this just right out of the, the pack. And I, I think I need to experiment with this one a little bit more. But I think this would be great actually for coasters. You could finish with resin on this as well as, um, yeah, resin would be good actually. It's a nice sturdy surface as well as embossing on that. I think that would look really, really good. So if you're into the oranges and the uh, rusty colors, this is really, really pretty. You just gotta be careful that I think this would stain a lot. Um, so you gotta be careful of, of not getting your ink onto the areas that you don't want. So just keep that in mind. Uh, especially with Yupo paper, uh, you can't always get it clear 100% when you use blending solution or alcohol to lift it. It does stain a little bit and this could be the same way. So I'm going to give it a go and see what happens here. So it will come off kind of like Yupo. You just got to work at it. Get that off there. But there's some other colors for you. All right, guys. Well, that's it, I think. Today, uh, I'm going to continue experimenting. If you have questions about any of these products, uh, obviously go to Ranger, or you can ask me. Uh, just message me. I'll check over the uh, questions here, and then, of course, I'll put this on my highlights if you want to rewatch at a later time. I really appreciate you guys taking time out and, and visiting me today. Happy Thursday. Oh, no, today is Thursday. <laughs> Feature Friday is tomorrow. Hope you guys are doing well, and uh, I love you guys. Thanks so much for uh, joining me, and uh, we'll see you guys again soon, okay? Bye.